feminism and the mistreatment of women is a underlying theme in the film. How do you tap into Salander's frame of mind and uh, how did you prepare? Um, you know, it starts with the books, you know, there's sort of an endless well of information in all three of the books and, uh, you know, certainly it's much more than you normally get um, when you're making a movie. And then on top of that, you know, I did, um, I did a lot of training, I learned to ride the motorcycle, I did kickboxing, I did skateboarding, I had some computer training, um, I had the dialect training, I did a lot of reading and, and watching movies and stuff like that. Much has been said about the anal rape scene in the movie. Um, having watched it, I'm sure a lot of people will find it quite disturbing. How hard was it to reenact that nightmare that many women do have? Um, you know, I think yeah, obviously it was very difficult. It was, um, it was difficult physically and emotionally, but uh, it wasn't hard. You know, it, it's not a hard scene to act in. It's not like, you know, sometimes it's almost harder to to be happy or excited in the scene. It's not hard to fake those emotions because you know you're you're acting it out physically. So it, it wasn't hard from an acting stand -up point of view. It was just very draining physically and emotionally. Yeah. Do you have a, a tattoo? I don't. If you were to get one, would it be of a dragon? No. <laughs> Certainly not now. <laughs> You said in a recent interview that you are trying to appreciate every minute of now because mm -hmm. you know what's about to come. What exactly do you think is about to come? I don't know. Everyone keeps trying to tell me and trying to scare me about it. And, um, <laughs> you know, I'm sort of in denial about it, I guess. You know, more what I meant by that is that, you know, this whole past year making the film and during the audition process and, you know, sort of up until now in the next few weeks, there's been so much possibility. Um, and once the movie comes out, that's sort of the possibility part is sort of over and people will make make it into into what they want to make it into. So I got to have this very unique experience and I was sort of in this protective bubble, you know, getting to create this world and this character and there was so much possibility and it's very rare that you get to, to have an experience like that. So I tried to always be in the moment and not look ahead to the movie coming out, not look ahead to what my life is going to be yeah. like. I wanted to just be present. Given the success that I think the film will be, I think you'll be in a position to pick and choose your roles. Is there any kind of genre that you want to focus on more? Uh, I don't really think about it. I think about it in terms of directors and, and script. I think it always starts um, with a script, and I think a director is probably the most important part. Um, I don't know. I, I want to do something really different. I, I'd like to, to, to sort of try a bunch of different genres. I'd love to do a period piece. I'd love to do, um, you know, I'd love comedy? to do... Comedy? No. <laughs> Not just... Maybe a dark comedy. Yeah, maybe a dark comedy. Okay, but cool. not a straight comedy. I'm not very funny. <laughs> <laughs>